everyone. How are you today? Today I'm just going to go through a, my garden and see what I can get late, for later. Make a smoothie. I have some tomatoes I'm going to pull out of here, which is a good thing. And I'm going to try something new today. I'm going to try to make my own compost. I'm going to use um, coffee grounds and bananas. And I'm going to use eggs. And I'm going to get me some um, soil from my Home Depot. I'm just going to try to make my own compost. And um, then we'll come out here and I'm going to apply it to my garden and see what um, just an improvement. See if I can improve my uh, gardening techniques and the uh, production of my tomatoes and cucumbers. Sometimes I do know this for a fact it's not the gardener itself, he or she, it is the uh, seeds because um, the seeds have been genetically modified or seed sliced where you're going to have some seeds uh, once you plant them they're only going to produce male flowers no female or female and no male flowers however uh, tomatoes they can most mostly handle it on their own and I noticed eggplants are the same way but and kale is fine but when it comes to cucumbers and zucchini that's a whole new different ball game and um, zucchini is very hard to accomplish. So what I'm going to do is just to take six weeks to grow a full zucchini plant and actually have fruit. I'm going to probably just pull these two zucchini plants up here in this container. And I'm going to toss them to the side because I am producing fruit, however. But when the fruit come in, it... It's not making it all the way to the mature stage where it can be pollinated or come out here and fertilize the fruit myself. See, it produces fruit, but the fruit doesn't get to only but a certain state. And um, I shouldn't have this problem. I have my Q-tips in there while I was trying to pollinate, but it don't work. Um, so I'm going to try something different, do some more research, get a few more books, look at some old books because these new books really don't have good knowledge. They just you know, keep to the old way. Anyway. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm probably making me a salad later with everything in my garden. I'm going to retrieve that eggplant over there. And um, use my lettuce here my kale for a salad. I'm going to have eggplant, tomatoes and kale amaranth greens and I have some green onions over here that I'm going to add to my salad and I have Swiss chard for a smoothie layer. I'm just going to get it because it rained so much the Swiss chard didn't do it just kind of shredded it into papers when the rain hit the Swiss chard it kind of beat it into paper and I had slices of it so I'm not throwing it away I'm just going to salvage it and make a smoothie with it but um this carrot plant is still hanging in there, looking good. I'm just going to pull it from the bottom, from around it, so it can keep growing. And all this is producing so many seeds. Mm -hmm. Oh, right here. I'm starting to notice some female cucumbers. Not many, maybe three or four. That's why I'm thinking these cucumber seeds were messed with or something is wrong because this is not normal behavior for cucumbers. And I also have this spinach. This, sorry, my fingers out the way. I have this spinach here. Looks good. Very nice. You can grow it yourself. Get the seeds at the market and just plant it yourself. And this is my experiment pot. Everything's in here. I know it doesn't supposed to be that way, but it's that way today. I appreciate you watching the video. Please hit the like button and subscribe. If you have any ideas or questions, leave them in a the comment box below. Have a wonderful day. Talk with you later. Bye-bye.